Collect View application in Quantic operating system is a useful tool to collect various data from sensor nodes deployed over a geographic area. Let us see how to use this tool. The Collect View application examples are already available in the Quantic operating system, which you can easily use by compiling in the Kuja simulator. Now let us see how to do that. Let me show you the program. CD Quantic Examples Collect So these are the programs for the Collect View C programs which can make use. Now let us see how to run this program. For that you need to run the Kuja simulator. So CD Quantity Tools Kuja and run. File, new simulation, let me give the simulation name, sim1, create, add modes, so let me add the sky mode, so browse for the code, so this is the code we have shown, compile it, successful, create the nodes, let me create three nodes, so they are added randomly, And in this window, let me enable radio traffic, this one, and uh, more type. So, all the nodes should be in the coverage range. So, to enable the collect view, you should select the tools for more sky, uh, sky one, collect view. This opens up two windows, this one and this. So let me start the simulation. So, so here you need to send a command, start collect. This will start to collect the data and uh, the simulation is running, you can see. And uh, let me show you the output, the collected data, sensor map, the power dissipation, and uh, sensors the temperature. So in this way. So now let us see how to run this collective application for our new program, new application. For that, let me stop the simulation, go to node control, stop collect, send commands, close and pause this. Let me close this simulation. So let us create our own program. So I have already created the program which name is named as uh, test. So let me open that. So this is the program. So in this, so you need to create two process, I mean quantity key process. So these are the improved files required and uh, you need to declare two processes. So one is uh, the collect view shell process, this is the name of the process. So here is the process and this is the description about this process and another process which is the blink process 
so which is having description as blink and we should auto start this process by addressing these two processes one by one in this way so in this collect we shell process we you need you need to call these functions process begin serial shell init initiate shell blink initiate and if the copy file is used file system is used these are the functions to be called or else nothing so these are the functions should be used i'll share this program in the description so process ends so next is the process to blink the leds you know that the sky mode has three leds so which we shall blink continuously for every second so process thread this is the way to declare the process in the quantity key so exit handler process begins in this way the timer is started so we are going to et which is uh, the event timer so process waits until event timer is, is expired so this acts as the event timer which is called when the event expires the leds are made on so these are the built in functions in the quantity key we should make use of it so, e timer is set again and uh, when it expires the leds are made off and finally when the while loop closes so this is made the leds are made off so this is a program so we have two process which will start to run in the run in our quantity operating system puja simulator i mean it is actually in the sky modes so let us run this program so let me start the puja simulator So let me create a new simulation. Simple. Create. Add modes. Modes. Sky mode. And here browse for the code. Just now we have created. So this is the program. Test one dot c. now compile it the compilation successful now let me create the nodes and add it to your, our simulation let me create three nodes so these nodes are added randomly let me paste it as per the requirement randomly so let me show the radio environment mode type radio traffic and finally the leds as you can see each sky mode has got three leds red green and blue which we are blinking all the leds are blinking continuously the rate of 1 second now let us also see the collect view application in parallel so let me collect the data in node 1 so right click on this mode tools for sky 1 collect view so collect view window now let us uh, start the simulation so when the simulation starts as you can see the leds are blinking this is the way how we have programmed the sky modes this is a this is our application which blinks the led which is very simple now our ultimate aim is to collect the data from all these nodes so all these nodes are sending the data to the collecting node node number 1 through a radio environment 
so all these nodes should be in the coverage range otherwise node 1 cannot collect the data so let us collect the data send the command to the node start collection so this map will be updated after a few seconds by that time let me check the other data which is collected as we can see the power distribution in two number of nodes node 1 is collecting the data from these two nodes so no number of nodes are two the sensor map so one is a collector two and three are the nodes these are arranged in a non mobile way they are permanently fixed the power distribution in node number 2 and 3 and other parameters like sensor data temperature average temperature so this can be made to send to the collect view all these other parameters so in this way we can program our own application to send the data to collect view application and we can monitor it graphically that's all thank you for now